Um, this is my good friend Freddie, walking to the surf. I first met Freddie six years ago surfing, and we share a love for really good coffee and really good beers. Um, he's a talented barista with 10 years experience, and he's also a great power. We shared trips to Indonesia, and he speaks Indonesian and studied Indonesian politics, so he's pretty handy. This is Matt Croc exploring the Himalayas, salty dog. We met Raul running late for a lecture at uni and became good pals cramming for uni. Um, Matt has recently completed his master's in sustainability. Um, we also love a few beers and have shared two businesses together, ex experimenting with business models that we feel align with our values and lives. Um, this is me, Ben Garnett. I graduated as a geologist and after becoming familiar with the fly and fly out lifestyle and mining practices, decided to change my career path. I worked in the city as an environmental consultant before deciding to align my values with my income source would require a different approach. Now this is my office. Um, I'd step off the lift and see that for eight hours. Billability and timesheets drove productivity. The environment we were writing about was second thought to the size and potential revenue the project would bring to our office. This office environment inspired me to stop being critical and try and set an example. These are some of the issues that we see facing humanity in the near future. Um, our present economic and political structure requires enormous amounts of energy, mainly fossil fuels, destroys the natural ecosystems and may even challenge the very people whom they serve. Freddie, Matt and I have been critical of business as usual models, models that suggest we must do more of the same. We brainstorm potential ways to experiment within the current economic model and see if we could create a business that not only leaves minimal footprint but inspires people to take positive action or at least provide a positive experience in the process. High Grounds is using simple process of serving coffee as an experiment in business um, to see if we can have neg negligible impact but be beneficial. I'm finding the journey revitalising in myself on a personal level. The past eight months has taught me that there are many alternatives and people are actively seeking them. Thank you. you. So uh, co coffee uh, brings people together and energises them for the day. Um, I've worked in the cafe industry for many years and it wasn't until last week that I actually learned the term urban lounge room. So an urban lounge room is a space where people can be either active or inactive but still achieve a sense of belonging. If we look at human life in the active sense, it's founded on communicating, enjoying spending time together and achieving a sense of unity. Intelligence can be measured in many ways but the most important measure of any life is happiness. And this can be found simply by spending time with people, sharing knowledge and giving support. An urban lounge room also creates an environment where people can look inwards and take a moment to ask themselves some vital questions. Like, what is it that brings me peace? What is it that brings me joy? What am I willing to become highly skilled at doing? What part can I play for the betterment of the society and the world in which I want to live? So. Our first official posting was at Curtin University, legend, <laughs> and we still trade there Monday to Friday. Um, through an initiative called the Park Program, um, the university uses mobile food carts and entertainers to revitalise er unresourced areas of campus. In essence, we became a mobile urban lounge room. Then as uni finished, we needed a summer spot. Thanks to Fremantle's unique vendor licence, we spent the summer down at South Fremantle Dog Beach. We've been able to create an environment for direct community engagement. Often one person would stop to buy a cup of coffee then stay for an hour after bumping into someone that they wanted to... That's not meant to be there, but that's cool. <laughs> um, that, would relate better, that would relate better to Maddie's next section. So, yeah. Um, Although we set out to just create a coffee cart, we ended up creating an urban lounge room. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this uh, might not make any sense with the images, but uh, the last thing we want to talk about is how we're trying to revitalise the environment as well. Um, and I say try because we're definitely not planting trees or rebuilding swamps or anything like that. We're just trying to revitalise the relationship between businesses and the environment and how our society as a whole sort of uh, yeah, it relates to the environment. Um, so 
I'm sure you guys know how the conventional economic model works by extracting resources from the environment, processing those through businesses and firms and passing products onto consumers and the waste of that all goes into the environment. Um, and that's causing a whole bunch of problems for the, the planet. And so when we were coming up with this idea, we were pretty sure we didn't want to perpetuate those issues. We wanted to be kind of part of a solution. And, um, you know, we wanted a business that was not only going to, like, survive, I mean, give us a wage so we could survive and contribute something cool to society, in this case, just like a good cup of coffee and a cool place to hang out. But um, to do that without undermining the environment on which we all depend. Um, and it's definitely been a journey, and we're far from an environmentally friendly business at this stage, but getting there. Some of the things we're trying to do, like the lads have just got back from a trip to Indonesia where they met a bunch of local growers and um, sort of trying to build relationships throughout our supply chain so we can ensure that there's sustainable practices all the way through. Um, the whole business is on the back of a bike. Um, it does get hauled around too often behind a car because we're pretty lazy, but it's... Um, <laughs> We're trying to reduce emissions that way, and you know, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, but we're running out of time. So, thanks very much, guys.